welcome to a decal ranch tutorial. My name is Jeff, and today I want to go over a common question. I got my cameo, now what? I've been at this for about six months and watched a ton of first project videos. Most did a great job. Some of them went above and beyond what was needed. Now granted, all of it was good info, but I was really just wanting a video that, that I would shove some vinyl into the machine and hit send. So this is my attempt at showing you the bare basics of getting your first cut done. I found this image online. I edited it in Photoshop just to clean it up a little bit and I pasted it in here. You can, it is a JPEG and the JPEG is not ready to cut. You can see there's no cut lines. So that's what we need to do is get that set up. So we'll go over here to Trace. Now I am using Studio Business Edition but everything in this video I use will be, should be, main word, should be available in BASIC. So we'll hit select trace, I'll left click hold and drag a box over it. We're going to just scale to four. Now if you feel you need to have this out a little bit more, it's not quite covering the image as much as you want, you start playing with the threshold. See if I move it in, it does very little, but if I move it out, it fills in, in a little bit more. But I liked it around that 50% mark. And then I'll click Trace. Same goes with creating. When you trace, it has to do all the calculation. It takes a second. So now I'm just going to grab it here, pull this down, and you can see I have my mama bear. Now that is ready to cut. You could send that straight to the, the machine and it's ready to go. Now what I like to do is fill it in. So we'll just fill it in with red just so we can see the difference. I'm weird that way. I, I like to see just to make sure everything looks right. At this point, you're ready to go. But we have a few things we have to do first. We have to come over here. It's page setup panel. Now, for this example, I'm not using a mat. I have a large roll that I'm using, or, well, or a section of a large roll. So I'm not going to use a mat. I'm just going to feed the vinyl directly into the machine. If you're using a mat, you would come here and say, I'm either using the 12x12 12 12 Cameo or the 12x24 Cameo or any of these. But usually the common one is the 12x12. 12 12, but since I'm not using a mat, Click off that and click none. On this page, all we need. As long as this stays, you know, your 12 by 12, I'm going to leave this up here just to show you something on, on the other side. When we click send, you can see there's red lines around here, red lines around there. Those are your cut lines. Now, this image here has a red box. I like to leave my JPEG up till I'm 100% done, just in case I find, figure out I screwed something up. I can then go back, retrace. I still have the image there. You can either do one of two things. You can have this and select no cut, or you can just go back to your design screen, move it off the main part of the screen here. If you click to send, it's just this section here. Now, by default, the, I have version 4.3.339, and for whatever reason, it's defaulted to cardstock. You need to go in and select what you're using. It could be vinyl glossy. It could be, now with what I'm using, is the vinyl Oracle 651. Force default is 10. Speed default is 5. Blade 1. I use this document from 651 Vinyl that shows its, its recommended cut settings. You will figure out that each machine is a little bit different. Not I don't, under, don't know why, but everyone's machine tends to act a little bit different. Just because a 20 setting works on their machine could mean either a 20 setting is perfect 
or way too much for my machine. And I have found that 20 tends to be a tick too much for me. So what I do is I did a bunch of tests, test cuts, test cut after test cut after test cut, and just went through the line and did it 10, 12, 14, 16, till I found what works for me. You will eventually find your happy place with your machine when you keep cutting. Keep changing the settings, find your happy place. Speed, now with this, I'll probably leave it at five because of the cursive. If it was a more intricate or smaller designs, I would move the speed down probably to one just so it gave it time to make the cuts and it's not m moving too quick because on small cuts like thin letters or little circles or small details, if it's going too fast, it could pull up the vinyl. Now, if it was, say, just the outline of the bear, I might move the speed up to 10 because it's not that intricate of a cut or simple t font like Arial font. I would probably jack that up to 10. But for this, I'm just going to use 12 and 5. You'll have to figure out what you need on your own. That document tends to be a really good start. I use usually between the default and what that document says. You'll find other documents on other sites like the Silhouette School blog and a few other sites. And I tend to jump, I tested them all and I found what works for me. Next will be blade depth. It says one, the Oracle 651 on 651vinyl.com's website suggests one. Now on my machine, I usually go a tick more. I always set my blade a little past what it suggests. Let me see if I can get that focused. I need to work on my webcam. I'm new to this. So I usually put it a tick past what suggested. It suggests that a one, it's kind of one and a quarter, one and a half ish, give or take. That goes back to you'll figure out with test cuts what works for you. So I usually set mine, like I said, a little bit past what it recommended. So you put that back in there, make sure it's all the way down, we lock it in place. We don't want it to go anywhere. Gonna line up my vinyl. and load the media. Now if you have not done any cuts then you shouldn't have to worry about the, the blade having any vinyl gunked up in it. If you have done some cuts it never hurts to take pull it out and just take a quick peek and see if there's any little itty bits of vinyl jammed in that hole because that can cause the blade to either skip a cut or not cut fully or just kind of do its own thing. Never hurts to peek. So we'll lock that into place. We got it loaded. We got it in the machine. And now, now I'm going to come back here. Uh, there is one thing I actually want to check. I need this three and a half inches. I need that around four. So we'll just grab, actually let's undo that. Let's lock that in place so it stays even. That's good enough. And we'll put it up here in the left corner. And you're done. All we need to do now is hit send and let it cut. All right, it's safe to unload it. And we're just about done.
was done, now we got to do the word. And a nice reflection of that light. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we are done. Now all you need is some transfer tape. I have this medium tack from 651 Vinyl, and I also use some AT65 tape, depending on what I'm doing. A single layer, this is perfect. Medium, it'll stick. If I had multiple layers, it needs a little more grip. That's where the AT65 comes in. But you're done. Congratulations on completing your first decal. Thank you for watching, and hopefully there'll be more videos like this in the future. Have a great day.